Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I know we had issues <laughs> with the live stream, to, but today we're going to talk about popular TV shows in Latin America. And uh, we're going to keep it short, just five popular TV shows and we have a special guest. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream. You can also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons, to download free stuff and to donate to this channel. Uh, if you want to support this channel, of course. And I want to give a big shout out to our members, to uh, our Cerveza members, KS and William Lopez, who is actually here with us. I mean, not physically, but on Skype. Uh, and also, well, thank you guys for the cerveza. It's obviously delicious. Thank you so much for the support. And also, I want to give a big shout out to our Cafecito member, Keith Pearson. Thank you, Keith. The coffee is delicious. So if you want me to give you a shout out and for more perks, just click on the join button down below so you can take a look at the memberships on this channel and support it as well. Okay, so let's get started. Here with me is the Mysterious Voice. How are you, Mysterious Voice? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. 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 Doing good? Yeah. Doing good? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, we have here with us William Lopez. Hi, William. <laughs> Again? <laughs> uh, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm fine. I'm excited. <laughs> I know we already talked a little bit, but uh, once again, I want to say that we're really excited about you joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. And you were favorite winner. You guessed the most Spanish words. And you were the first one to guess the words as well. So you're very fast. Do you have a secret? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I was just uh, willing to win. That, that, that's it. Uh, to, to prove that I know Spanish, you know, uh, I think I, I achieved that somehow. <laughs> that's amazing. So, were you saying that uh, you learned Spanish on this channel, but also, um, what did you learn Spanish? Because you have really good Spanish. Uh, I'm not advanced yet, but I had some basic classics of Spanish, you know, uh, but uh, I didn't really feel that I was like getting into it because uh, I, I want to learn like seriously, you know, uh, and not, that's what I'm doing right now. I decided I, I will learn Spanish. I'll get serious to, uh, with, with that. And your channel is definitely uh, be helping me uh, through all this journey that's awesome <laughs> and learning a lot of things and i'm i'm really glad i'm i'm here today and i'm glad that i'm, I'm your subscriber that's it oh, thank you uh we're really happy that you subscribe to this channel and uh you're even a member so that's amazing uh yeah thank you so much for the support and um, you were saying as well that you like some TV shows, right? Uh, it, yes, uh, I don't watch too, too many uh, TV shows. I barely watch TV, just some uh, soccer games maybe. Nice. Uh, but I really enjoy uh, movies, uh, classics, old, new, uh, I don't have a specific genre. Uh, I'm just I'm, not, I'm just not very pretty much into TV shows. I don't have a good history with that. Just some specific ones like Breaking Bad, uh, Fargo. Nice. Uh, but that's <laughs> it. I'm more into movies. That's it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Uh, me too. <laughs> I like movies. I like TV shows too. But I like sitcoms a lot. How about you, Mysterious Voice? Uh I don't know, I honestly. Don't know. I like honestly, some I like movies, some, movies, some TV shows some that tend to fall asleep during them, 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 By the way, did I introduce you? Yeah, did I? Yeah, you did. Did I? 
sorry i'm like clicking here and there um but yeah i mean i think all of us need to work a lot so we don't have too much time to watch tv <laughs> But when I was younger, I remember I used to watch a few TV shows and they were popular back then. And they were even popular a few years ago. So that's why, guys, I want to talk about some popular TV shows in Latin America. Uh, so are you guys ready? Yeah, let's yeah, yeah, let's okay, okay, okay. So let's do the first one. The first one is Chabelo. I don't know if you guys have heard of this TV show. Just assume that Just I did. Just assume that I did. <laughs> okay. How about you, William? Because you're in Latin America. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I can't. I can't really see the, the the any screen right now. Oh, okay, it's fine. I'm just saying the name of the. Oh, okay, the Chabelo. Chabelo. No, I've never heard of this one. No, not this one. Okay, so let's watch a short clip <laughs> of the show, and oh man, it's quite. It's it's a little bit funny, and I'm. But I'm just gonna play it and you guys can tell me, okay? Junto con discos, radio, AM, FM, con sus bocinas y todo. Tráese la pati, 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 tráese la Para el ganador de Jaime, muy precioso, salvavidas para cuando usted vaya al mar, este, don Jaime, lléveselo. A ver, ¿le cabe a usted, don Jaime, no le cabe? A ver, pónganselo usted. Sí le cabe. <laughs> okay, that was the short clip. Were you able to hear it? Yeah. Okay. So this TV show, guys, it's about a guy, a full-grown guy, who talks like a kid. Okay, so this is a little weird, uh, but this is a TV show for kids. Do you remember I told you about this mysterious voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember you telling me about it. Do you remember this by any chance, William? No, no I, idea. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> Not Okay, this is a very old one, like it started in the 60s, I think, and then, can you guess how many years this show was on the air? Just give it a guess. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say from, 1967 from 1967 to 2015. 2015? 2015. 2015? Yeah. yeah. You're that close. Was very specific. I wonder why you're, you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah, um, why? Because it um, says because under it the says video. Under the video. Ooh. 1967, 2015, 2015. Oh, snap. <laughs> you're clever. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you that this show was airing for 47 years. 47 years. So... A lot of kids grew up watching this TV show, including me. This was a show about competition. And usually kids were competing to get us some prize and also parents. And it was airing every Sunday at 7 a.m. So I was up really early watching that TV show. So, did you have something similar in Brazil? Uh, we do we do have some some shows like that, but uh, not exactly like a, an, an, a live audience uh, in the studio, you know. Um, the closest thing we have is like uh, some young presenters that uh, in the middle of it, they, they present some cartoons, you know, and then they call the uh, the kids uh, for them to participate and there's some some rewards like if you get this right you, you know it's, it's like a mixture between uh, cartoons and, uh, uh, and and prizes that you get uh, by calling them oh, that's it. I see I see but you didn't have a guy imitating a kid's voice <laughs> 
No, uh, and like this, uh, we don't have.、Uh, we we have a lot of things from television. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>、uh, I can talk about、uh, more about later, but、uh, this in the specific,、uh, we don't have anything like pretty much close to it. Got it. Got it. How about in Serbia? No, wait, we didn't no, have. Wait, we did, as far as I know, as as any, as children's know any children's TV shows. shows. I grew up on like Arnold like, Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone movies. Wow, that's intense. Yeah. That's the, intense. I have told you before the first movie the first I ever saw in a theater. theater. I was four years, years old, and my parents took me to see Predator. See Predator. My goodness. Oh my God, that's why. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. But. You can find actually videos of this guy Chabelo, and actually the TV show is called En Familia con Chabelo, and yeah, you can find it on YouTube. It's a pretty popular televisa show, <laughs> TV show for sure. By the way, pardon what? It's from Televisa as well. Yes,、uh, yes, Televisa. Yeah, yeah. And just to let you know what Televisa is, Mister's voice. It's like the biggest TV station in Mexico.、Uh-huh. Okay.、Uh, there's there's like two more or one more, TV Azteca, but Televisa is the top TV station for Mexico. And a lot of Latin America,、um, Latin American countries get TV shows from that TV station. Including Brazil, <laughs> kind of like in kind England like, with like PBS, with PBS and, and like we get it here, we get it here, we get it pretty much every word too. Exactly.、Uh, okay, guys, that was I. I find a little bizarre that a guy just imitates a kid's voice. I thought it was like some was weird like some Price is Right. Price is Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk about the next one. Just let me get the video ready for you. Okay, so this is. I tried to include many different styles of TV shows. Not the same thing, but you know, TV shows for kids, talk shows. We have only one talk show and more late night shows and stuff like that. Okay. So the next one is Christina. Have you heard of this one, guys? Oops. No. No. <laughs> Sorry. Let me rewind that. Yeah. Can you see the video, guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna play it for you. Nuestro tema de hoy es la rebeldía impactante de las llamadas chicas malas, bad girls. Y yo quiero, antes de presentarle a nuestra próxima invitada, ir al público a ver qué opinan, porque estoy viendo una gritería aquí en el comercial. ¿Qué decías tú? Bueno, yo soy cubana y esto en Cuba se llamaba. P- Uh, I guess William William understood everything. <laughs> I understood that. I understood that. So, <laughs> essentially, the clip is saying,、uh, "So you know, today we're gonna talk about bad girls, okay?" And then she says other things, and then she's like, "Okay, let me talk to these people that are being really loud." So okay, she approaches a woman, and she's like, "Okay, what do you want to say?" And she's like, "Well, I'm from Cuba, and bad girls or women like these in Cuba are called." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blip that. <laughs> so in Brazil, it's the in same Brazil, word. Same word. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that means you know what means, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this is hilarious because this is、um, talk show. Yeah, it's a talk show. It's a talk, talk show. show. So Christina, actually, she is. She was living in Miami. So this was done in America. Oh,、right. okay. oh you know, right. there, you was, know, like, there was like in the nineteen ninety six. There was a there was a huge fad in the nineties of those kinds of shows. Of those kind of shows.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm not surprised, so I'm not that surprised that's that the that's one you picked the for one the you 90s. Picked for like. the 90s like. Yeah, exactly. It's just this Christina show, super popular, guys. So if you can look it up. What's that? What's that? Is this like a, an Oprah thing? Similar, more but... Like Jerry Springer, like I guess. Springer, yes. Oh, yeah, so this TV show is about controversy, okay? So you get people on the stage and they're pretty much fighting over stupid things. <laughs> yes, Jerry Springer. Yes, Jerry Springer. <laughs> so this is an amazing show if you want to laugh and want to learn Spanish. Um, I believe Cristina is from Cuba, so her accent is Cuban. Uh, it's just amazing. I love it. I love it. Uh, so if you get a chance to watch that, just do do that, guys, because it's so funny. So tell me, how many years do you think this was on, on the air? The show. El show de Cristina. That's the name. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I would say that it's, it's still live. This, this seems to be very popular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, can you give it again? It's the 90s. It's the 90s. I'm going to say 1991 until 98. It's like 98 when talk shows kind of died. Kinda died. So that's like, so that's seven, like years? seven years? Yeah, I'll go with yeah, that. Go with that. How, about you, William? How about you, William? I'll, I'll say that this, this show is still on. It's still <laughs> happening. <laughs> we have something similar to it. It's still like yeah. very uh, famous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, t let me tell you guys. 21 years. Yeah, it's not on anymore. Not like... Um, um, you're not current TV show. But it was, it last like 21 years. When did it start? When did it, and when start? Did it, end? When did it end? I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't have I that, don't have show that info. The show called? El show de Cristina. <laughs> Let's see, Google will, Let's see know. Google will know. So I'm interested about you, William. Like, did you have anything like that? I'm pretty sure you had um, a talk show like that in Brazil. Uh, we do have something, um, it's not really similar, uh, but it's like that. It's like a, a kind of a talk show. You have the, the, the host, right? Uh, and, then, and then some families are invited to this show, you know? Uh, they have some kind of problems, just like, I don't know, um, Dr. I forgot the name of the show in, in the USA. Philip? Dr. Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, that's the one, yeah. But it's like uh, more families, and it's, it's just not one case. And if I, if I like some three families and they try to, to find a solution, uh, that's the closest I could, I could go with, you know? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think every country has one of those shows. <laughs> uh, in Mexico, we have many of those shows. Like, they like to fight. They like to just fight physically and also say awful things to each other. So, I don't know what to think about this kind of show. It's funny. Cristina is funny. But but I don't know about the other ones. This one, so, this one, yeah. the first episode the first was in episode 1989, was in 1989, and the final oh. episode the was final in 2011. Episode was 2011. Wow, wow, it's a lot of time. Like of October, time. 2011, like October 2011. October 2011. So like a long time. That's a lot of time for sure. Yeah. <laughs> do you 
Do you like talk shows, Mysterious Not Boys? Not really. really. Not really. When we first when came, we here, came here, like it was 1996, 1996 so like that was so all that was on that TV. Was it was, was uh, Price is uh, Right Price and then right talk shows. And then talk shows. So right. I did so watch I them did then, watch but, it I then, but I yeah, never really never cared, really much, for cared it. much for it. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah, too, no. too dramatic. Yeah, too I think dramatic. that's, yeah, it's just too, that's drama. Drama. too much drama. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's move on, guys. Let's look at the next one. We have three more. And then we can talk a little bit about Televisa, <laughs> if you want. Okay, so the next one is Otro Rollo, okay? This is one of my favorite shows from the past and he's so funny a lot of people I don't know like some people like him some people don't but I do like him because he is funny and he is not um, everybody can watch this kind of show even kids but it was a late night show Okay, I'm gonna play the video. Dios. A poco así habla tan ñero Dios, o sea, imagínate el Dios de los ñeros. Santo Dios ñero. Ayúdame a conseguir autopartes para vender. Dios. Okay, so that was short, <laughs> but. This TV show is a late night show, okay? And this is one of the guys who introduced stand-up comedy. I don't know, guys, if you're familiar with it. Uh, stand-up comedy. One of my favorite comedians, one of my favorite comedians is George Carlin. Is George Carlin. I'm very familiar there you go. with it. There you go. <laughs> so how about you, William? How about you, William? Oh, oh, no, uh, Do you watch a video? Uh, Did you see the video? Yeah, I watched. Yeah, uh, I watched the, the Kismet, Kismet, right? And the, and the yes. Ramones. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have some like talk shows with like comedians and stuff. It's like a mixture of those. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's that much similar, but. Yeah, essentially what this guy used to do is um, he would have a monologue at the beginning and then he would have like similar like SNL. He would have um, short clips, funny short clips or sketches. Are those called sketches? Skits, yeah. And then he would interview someone famous. Just like uh, Conan. Do, do you know Conan? Conan O'Brien? Yeah, he's good, huh? He's good. So it was similar to that. Pretty much like Conan O'Brien. So like late talk show. Talk show. show. Yeah. So uh, this was one of my favorites because he is... Uh, the way he expresses himself is very Mexican-like. You know all the slang, all the idioms you can learn a lot from this guy and you can also find him on youtube there's a lot of videos about otro rollo uh it's a shame that you don't know about this show because we could talk about it for a long long time but um another televisa show <laughs> now william can you please tell us if you had anything similar where you live? Uh, we do have, I'm not, I'm not, there's a, a, a late night uh, show um, called The Noite, mm. but it's like a mixture of, of words, like the as in English, you know, and then Noite in Portuguese, so The mm. Noite. Uh, this is the, the most famous uh, show we have, and nowadays the only one. Uh, and you have this comedian; they 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 joke a lot. You do have many sketches, uh, but yeah, I think that's the the, the most famous I can, can talk about. Nice, right now. nice. 
Let me tell you, in Mexico, there is a um, trend. A lot of uh, comedians are popping up everywhere. Yes. You said they do yeah. a lot of podcasts. They do a lot, they of, do podcasts. A lot of podcasts. They do a lot of podcasts. And they do stand-up comedy. They do that a lot. So if... Maybe we can talk about this later, but there is like... I would say easily 30 podcasts and all of them are made by comedians in Mexico and they're so good. So we can talk about that in a different video. But yeah, the best way to learn Spanish is by watching these kinds of shows because they have the slang, they have the words, even jokes. That's amazing. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so the next one, guys. The next one is... This one is called Rebelde. I don't know if you've heard this one, William, because it was a big, big thing in Latin America. Okay, I'm gonna play okay, the video. I'm gonna play the video. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué pasó? Están buscando a los chavos que... ¿Por qué no pueden empezar sin ti el fútbol? Ah. <risa> sí, lo que pasa es que me, pues me llevé la pelota. Fiat, Fiat, ¿qué mensa eres? Oye, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo estás? Enamorada. No, de la cabeza. Ah, bien. Te raman, <risa> Ok, so. Ok, so. You smiled, William. Do you know this one? Do you know this Oh, I know. I, I used to watch. Really? Really? <laughs> uh, you say rebelde. Yeah. Uh, there was, there, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, to collect uh, some, some, uh, some cards, you know, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, they, they used to sell some, some, uh, many pictures from the, from the, the show, you know, it was huge, uh -huh. it was huge, huge. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we even had like a Brazilian version, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, as famous as this one. You know, these are the the OG, mm -hmm. the original ones. Uh, and I even I can remember some songs right now. You know, I, I can it's try to so sing along if, if you play. You know, <laughs> uh, it was you. It, it was like it, it was unintentional. You didn't even need to watch the the show. <laughs> it was so famous. Uh, it played a lot of those songs were played a lot that you could like. We start to observe the 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 show, you know. But yeah, I know it, it was good. I, I liked. It. I, I'm not gonna lie. If you don't mind me asking, William, how old are you? Uh, I, I don't mind. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Oh 24. my god. <laughs> He's just a kid. <laughs> I think it was like 2007 uh -huh. that it was like a, a trend, mm -hmm. you know, around, I, I remember pretty, pretty well. Yeah, pretty well. believe me, I also remember. <laughs> they even went on concerts, not concerts, they had concerts. They went on a tour many too many places oh, let me we're the person who doesn't speak spanish what is this show okay william would you like to explain to mysterious voice what this show is about because you're pretty familiar with it <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't remember as much but it was like uh i would say that is a more a mexican version of high school music uh, yeah and it was uh, like uh, okay Realistic, you know, high school music is too, too, uh, how can I say, it? too formal, okay? Uh, re uh, rebel, rebelde, rebelde, right? Uh, was more like uh, realistic. And so you had like those uh, six uh, members, six friends, and they started this band called uh, RBD, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, a lot of romance stuff going on and. That, I can, that's how I would summarize it. Oh, okay. so oh basically, okay. so high school basically musical. High school musical. Yeah. yeah, and also I think there's a version of it on Netflix called Elite. I think it's similar. I don't know if you've heard of this, William, Elite. They're from Spain too? 
no idea. Yeah, it's pretty much a drama for teenagers. And yeah, a lot of drama. I remember um, I watched a few episodes, not as many as William did. <laughs> I don't remember her name. Uh, this one is Roberta. La, la, I, I, I guess I so. Miguel, <laughs> the one holding the ball, and then you have um, Diego. Wow. Um, Mia. <laughs> uh, Lupita. 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 Lu I like Lupita. Lupita. Oh. And the last one I don't remember. There was another guy uh, with the orange. He used to dye his hair. I don't remember his name. But yeah, we used to. to uh, when I was kid, I was kid, a kid. We used to. To, to fight between us, uh, like, like, um, Lupita is better. No, Roberta is better. <laughs> better. Uh, again, Team Miguel, you know, let's that's go. Funny, that's <laughs> funny. That's funny. Yeah, like, it, like, it, was uh, very popular. it was very popular. Very, very popular. Very, very popular. So, guys, can you guess not how many years, but how many episodes this TV show had? TV show slash telenovela. <laughs> Uh, I would say 300, then something, 350 maybe, okay, I don't know. Okay, how about you, Mr. Yeah, Spice? Yeah. And that happened in a few years. I think they were, they were um, three years on TV. I'm um, going to say... Or four? Yeah, I'm yeah, going to say, say like, like around, around 320. 320. 320, well, you're pretty close, because this show actually had 440 episodes. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> so yeah, it was very popular. It was busy. Yeah, they were busy. They were busy, and it was funny. I didn't find too many videos about this on YouTube, but I think there's a... Uh, Netflix like platform for this. I don't Bleep TV, I think it's called. So if you get a chance and if you want to rewatch the episodes, uh, you can learn a lot of Spanish from that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm glad that William knew one. I'm glad that you knew that one, William. <laughs> It sounds like it was a guilty pleasure for you. <laughs> for a lot of people, <laughs> people but it's not guilty. It was really popular, popular there. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so the next one, guys. The next one, we have only one more, I believe. Yeah, just one more. And this one is called Topo Gijo. This is a TV show for kids. In the I believe the people making the show are originally from America, uh, but then they had a version of this in Latin America. In Latin America, sorry, specifically in Argentina. Okay, so I'm gonna play the video. <laughs> Ah, Estoy realmente contento, Raulito. Ah, ¿verdad? Sabes, quiero decirte que estuve con unas niñas sí. mexicanas Ajá. que son muy bonitas. Claro. Te... <laughs> so that was 20 seconds of the show. Uh, this show is basically about a little mouse. He looks like a mouse, even though the first name is Topo, which means beaver. I'm not sure. So Topo Gigio is just a, a mouse that is just so cute. And the way he talks is very Argentinian like, you know. So if you want to learn this accent, you can watch this TV show, even though it's for kids. It's still a very adorable TV show. So, did you have this one in Brazil, William? Uh, not really, like, it's not like for kids, but we used to have some of these puppet-like creatures, like a rat, uh, a bird, like, but not in a kid's show. Like It's like some, some uh, 
killing uh, cuisine shows, you know, uh, cooking oh, show. Oh, oh, cooking oh, shows? Show? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and some some audience shows as well, some talk shows. Uh, just as a, a, a random guest that appears uh, every now and then, you know. But for, for kids, like we don't have, I can't remember. I uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, So I used to watch this when I was a kid, and I loved it. I'm kind of given given away how old I am, <laughs> but um. It was something I really enjoyed when I was a kid because I thought that mouse was super adorable and so cute. Did you have something like that in Serbia, Mr. Voice? We We didn't. didn't. Uh, Uh, The the only only kids kids show show I can think of that we had had was... was, I can't remember remember the name of it, but but the the show show was like... like, uh, uh, Kind of like looked like like a line line drawing, just like a blue background. background. And then, and then would, they would, would be just be like just a white, white line, line that, that would form like the characters and everything. And it, and it used, used to creep me out, out when I was, I was a kid. I hated that, that show. <laughs> so, I was like I was terrified, like terrified of, of it. It was a what, sorry? A line? Like a white, like a white, like, white, white line. line. Let me see a line that, that had, had characters, characters or something like that? I think I remember the name of it. Was I think called, I remember the name of it. It's called Bayum Bayum. Yeah, so Bayum, this is Bayum, the character. This is the character. So, so if you want to camera, so you can look at the camera. Okay, so. So, so like that's like, so like that. that. So like that. So. And the and way it talked, the way it like, scared the like, crap scared out of me when I was a kid. I hated it. I was like, hated it. That's that's weird. That's weird. It was terrifying. Ma'am. Um, but I think this one is better than Barney, honestly, or Teletubbies, right? Right. It shows that uh, it, I don't think it's uh, it was originally aimed for kids. Uh, for example, do you know that the cartoon called Courage, the cartoon yeah. yeah. dog, the yeah. purple? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I was so scared of that of that cartoon. It was terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why. It, it's it, creepy. It, it was not for kids. Yeah, it's creepy. It's <laughs> yeah, creepy it's for creepy. sure. Um, I think I watched one episode of that cartoon, and I remember it was about aliens, or was they didn't they couldn't go out for some reason, and then yeah, it was so creepy, so creepy. Baby. Yeah, that looks like Ren and Stimpy almost. Yeah, that looks like Ren and Stimpy almost. Yeah, yeah similar. Yeah. Definitely yeah, that's for kids. Definitely similar, for kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean... Do you remember any good TV show when you were a kid? That you loved it? Besides Power Rangers. <laughs> Yeah, you can go first, Miss Year's Boys. They're just like, well, I watched old, 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 like the A Team. I loved the A Team or uh, uh, Kung Fu. Uh, Kung Fu. Um, right. Uh, what else was there? I love some really cheesy ones like I love The Adventures really of Sinbad. It was only like one or two Sinbad. seasons, but it was, so <laughs> cheesy, it. it was so cheesy. I loved it. Other than that, other than that. Not um, really, I didn't watch much TV shows. I was in the nineties. I was more into like wrestling. Into, like wrestling. Right. Yeah, I used to right. watch that right. a lot. Yeah, like, I used to right. watch that a lot. Like. How about you, William? Um, one of my favorites are like Tom and Jerry. Oh, you know, the, yeah, we had that in the old country. Yeah. Yeah. We had that in the old country. Yeah. Uh, Woody yeah. Wood with Packer. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. Uh, the OG as well, the newer one. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. It was, I used to laugh a lot. Yeah. Uh, but I think that, yeah, Power Rangers, uh, I watch a lot. I used to, to love Power Rangers as well. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't have like uh, cable TV, right? So you, I, I had to stick with the, <laughs> the, the open TV. Right. Uh, yeah, we had these, and I think one of my favorite cartoons and up yeah, until now, but it's not exactly as a kid, and, uh, not exactly that I used to watch. It is Futurama. Oh, you know? Ooh, yeah, that one is great. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, there are so many good TV shows, and a lot of them are from 
America. <laughs> and they get translated into Spanish as well and into other languages. So it's very funny to watch a show all translated. Yeah, it seemed for us yeah. in, in Serbia, for us in, they, in a lot Serbia, of the times they, they weren't translated, they would have subtitles. Translated, oh, they would have yeah, because we had like the old G.I. Yeah, Joe, we had, like, the old uh, G. Transformers, uh, He-Man, that kind of stuff, but they had subtitles. Kind of stuff, but they had and it's actually partially how I learned English, because I couldn't read fast enough to keep up with the subtitles. So I just ended up learning the language. Language. That happened to me with uh, okay. Korean sub uh, Korean sub <laughs> <laughs> How about you, William? Did you have like a, uh, uh, translated, uh, TV, translated shows TV shows or subtitles? Sure. Uh, not really. Um, I, I had to do that with games, you know. Uh, we didn't have like uh, translated games, so. Uh, I was forced to learn English to, to understand some of the story. But uh, we, we pretty much have, we have a lot of things done uh, around here, you know. It, it used to be bad, you know, but it got better over time. Uh, Mexican uh, soap operas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of these around here. Yeah, yeah, for, <laughs> for sure. sure. Do you Do know, you know Thalia? Thalia? Have Thalia? you heard of Thalia? Thalia? Yeah. <laughs> a very famous actress and she was in many sub operas that's all right Natalia is from Maria del Barrio is she, is she the, the meme, meme lady? lady no she is um i don't remember her name but she's always a villain um yeah, I don't remember her name, but that's not Talia. Talia is the good one. You know, the victim one. <laughs> oh, by the way, Topo Gigio was airing for 11 years. Yeah, so 11 years. That's a lot of time. Uh, what? Sorry? Can I suggest one, one more? Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Uh, El Chavo de Alocho. Oh, yeah, Chavo. Oh, yeah, Chavo. El Chavo. El Chavo. El Chavo. It's, so it's another show that is huge in Brazil, like huge. Yeah. And it's yeah. so, I love that show. It's really, really. For sure. El Chavo is very big in Latin America, for sure, and in Mexico as well. El Chavo de Alocho is about a kid, a poor kid, who lives in a really poor neighborhood. He lives in a barrel, and it's so sad, but it's a funny show, okay? And then there's a lot of neighbors, they, and they are like all very peculiar characters. They're all very funny, and it's just like a sitcom. But <laughs> it was very huge in Latin America, for sure. So does the kid so ever does like kid ever end up moving out of the barrel, or is it is he in the barrel no. by choice, no. like Diogenes? Well, it's funny because the kid was like three years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he was also talking like a kid, just like Chabelo. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, William. That was a very good show. So, would you like to say something else about Televisa, William? <laughs> um, there, I don't think there's much to say, but uh, that is huge. Like a lot of soap operas uh, were, we, we had like some of versions, some Brazilian versions of them, mm -hmm. but most of them were like uh, dubbed, you know. Uh, but yeah, some people don't even know the name Televisa, you know, unless you search a little more for it. Mm -hmm. But one thing is for sure, uh, Mexican soap operas are huge here in Brazil. Maria del Barrio, <laughs> La Supadora, uh, uh, I, I can't really remember the so other many. one, but... Yeah. yeah, and they're still they going. Are, yeah. 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 So they're still many. going, oh yeah. <laughs> for sure. Okay, now, lastly, how do you say goodnight in Portuguese? Because I never say it correctly. I feel that I'm I'm just betraying the phrase. It, it is easier than you, than you think. <laughs> you say boa. Boa. 
Boa. Boa. We, we, we put a little U there. Boa. Boa. You know? Boa. Boa. Yes. Boa noite. 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 Yeah, we, we, have, we have this yeah. sound. Sounds you know? so good. Sounds yeah. so good. Boa noite. Boa noite. Boa noite. Boa noite. Huh? Perfect. Uh? Got it. Look at that. Look at that. Did Mr. voice get it? Mr. voice get it? Yeah. You and got me? It. You too. You're, <laughs> you're awesome. amazing. Uh, I said uh, there's some, some things like uh, bom dia, uh, bom dia, uh, até amanhã. A lot of these things are, are sound like Spanish, you know, mm -hmm. but you need to, to practice your, your pronunciation. That's it. Boa noite, sure. you guys got it. <laughs> For sure. sure. Okay, William, anything else you would like to add? Um, I'm just glad to be here. Um, uh, I'd like to thank you for all the knowledge shared uh, through all your videos. And yeah, uh, to anyone else there watching, uh, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How about you, Monsieur's Voice? Uh, this, oh, this is great, great, great having, having you here, man. It was a lot of fun. fun and, uh, uh, I got to say, say, I don't know how long, long you've been, been uh, uh, speaking, speaking English, speak but English, your English, English is awesome. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, like he speaks three languages, or I don't know how many. I used to teach uh, English around here. Uh, oh, really? Uh, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you know English, Portuguese, and Spanish, I would say. Yeah, uh, and my, my next goal is to learn some Cyrillic language, you know, maybe Russian. <laughs> oh my, she knows, <laughs> so mysterious maybe. voice knows so, about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I'm from I'm Serbia, Serbia, so I mean, that's, 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 I, I, that's, my, that's my main language. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your jam. Let me Let give, give you some advice. advice if you're learning a uh, Cyrillic language, language, everything, everything you, know you know about languages, languages forget, forget it. It, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh, Start yeah. over. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. For sure. Well, I want to say once again, thank you, William. It's an honor to have you here. You're amazing. Your Spanish is great. You're, you know a lot about Rebelde, which is cool. <laughs> and I really enjoyed this episode. Um, but once again, thank you so much for... Uh, for the support, for everything, and, uh, and for being here, for being our special guest. You're the first one. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. It was a pleasure. It was really a pleasure. Thank you so much. And um, okay, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you like this video. I'm sorry again for the live stream. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened, but nevertheless, I'm glad that William was here and that's it. Thank you so much, William. We're going to say goodbye. Have a great night. Thank you again for spending some time with us. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Like this video. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye.